What's up my Carcuaniacs? I'm back! Your South American Extreme Champion from War Ecuador! The Panamanian! The Forger of Pain! Carcamo! Welcome back guys! This is the third figure in the Jax Doe Bronze Facial Clothes Wearing Sento from the anime Saint Seiya Caballero del Zodiaco. We're here. So I hope you're enjoying these videos. And if you're first, and if it's your first time in this channel, what's up, guys? And welcome. And you know, subscribe and everything. Because why not? So let's start with the review, shall we? Our third bronze saint is here. As all our previous reviews, we can expect the figure's body, the clothing, three pairs of hands, four face expressions, the hair, and the armor with the miniature sickness. Yoga has the same problem Seiya had. The freaking t-shirt! Let's get this out of the way first. This advantage I've been able to find on these bootlegged figures is that they can all be very inconsistent. For example, I spent over 20 minutes just trying to fit his right hand. I kid you not. But we did it. Thank God I'm a stubborn son of a gun. All the way from the deepest cold lands of Siberia, mastering the absolute zero technique, Cygnus Yoga has arrived. I remember back in the day as a kid in Panama, when all my friends watched Saint Seiya for the first time, nobody wanted to be Yoga because he was technically a swan and a swan is the equivalent of a duck, which was the equivalent of... Those were different times, guys. Please, don't get offended. But after watching a couple of episodes, I discovered Yoga was a serious manly man. One of the most manliest mans in the worldly wide world of Saint Seiya and he became one of my favorite bronze saints. Yoga's backstory is something that many of us can relate. It's also ironic. As a six-year-old child, he was traveling by boat with his mother Natasha from Siberia to Japan, but midway travel, the boat shipwrecked. Their plan was to meet Mitsumasa Kido who was the one that started recruiting for the training and making of the Knights of the Zodiac. While the boat was sinking, Natasha sacrificed herself to save his son's life, and she subsequently drowned. Destiny embarked him once again, no pun intended, to Siberia, where he trained under the Silver Saint Crystal's mentorship. It was there where he learned the technique to destroy atoms and called upon the Diamondo Dasta and the Aurora Beam techniques respectively. These are legendary powers taught for generations by the Golden Saint Aquarius Camus. After many years of hard work, sweat, and blood, Yoga destroyed the once believed indestructible iceberg where the Cygnus armor lay dormant for years to become a bronze saint. I should mention that now that I see this armor in 3D and physical form, I gotta say, 
that is one of the most beautiful myth plots compared to the other bronze armors. Included, of course, we get the third part for the Galactic Battle Ray. We're halfway done. Athena's exclamation! Despite Yoga seeming to calculate his every move, having a cold personality, proud, and even arrogant, he can be very compassionate and trustworthy. You can say he's the cool kid from the group. <laughs> yeah, get it? Siberia, cold, cool. Uh, okay, callate, idiota! The expressions on the faces of these figures never disappoints. And in this case, I can appreciate the wound Yoga sustained when he fought against the Kraken Isaac, who also trained along Yoga in Siberia competing for the Saint Cygnus Myth Claw. But like I said before, just watch the anime, it's on Netflix. To end this review, I just want to share my final thoughts and opinions with you guys. I was overwhelmed by this figure. I found no flaws. Okay, maybe the right hand was a pain in the ass, but other than that, it was perfect. I have no complaints, and I know what you guys are waiting for. But don't worry, that video is coming soon. And that concludes my review. Next up is Andromeda Shun. You don't want to miss it and you know be on the lookout because you know it's coming hopefully soon enough but if not you can follow me on my social media i'm at carcamo gaming everywhere man so you know be sure and you know let me know that you're there doing all this social media crap but as always guys if you love this you know leave a like first time here subscribe if you haven't and you know, leave me in the comments what you think. Remember, these are bootlegged figures. And if you wanna know a little bit more, go to my first video and uh, I, you know, maybe a little more in depth, I explained uh, why I chose to buy these instead of, you know, the Bandai ones. That, now that I think about it, I don't think, you know, that, that's redundant, but it counts. I don't think there's a, a casual, a casual cloth wearing version for uh, for yoga, and maybe uh, for the most part, I think this this for Seiya, and I think that might be it. And that's a lot of my things. But anyway, guys, I digress. Remember, this is Karakamo Gaming. Like or die.